Welcome dear student to my channel Biology with Dr. Sharani. Today we are going to discuss Alva, Lactuca or Sea Lettuce. Alva Lactuca is commonly known as Sea Lettuce. And here is the taxonomy position of Alva. It belongs to the Chlorophyta division of algae and its uh, genus name is Alva and species name is Lactuca. Where it found? You can see that it is a marine alga and you can found it in uh, the coastal areas where the rocky edges are there and it is flat thin green color alga and by means of hold fast it is attached with that rocky ledge and the margin is ruffled or torn and it reaches to the size of 18 centimeter or 7 inches and its length and uh, it is uh, up to 30 centimeter is its size here is you can see that it is its cell is two cell thickness they are translucent and grow attached without stipe to rocks and uh, it is green in color and this species is belongs to the chlorophyta and having Nucleus each cell having cup shaped chloroplast with several perinoids. Here is the reproduction how reproduction occurs in Alva. It's uh, having both type of reproduction asexual as well as sexual. In asexual reproduction you can see that here is zoospores are formed that uh, each cells uh, protoplast is divided and to form zoospores. The content of any ordinary cell will produce four to eight zoospores. The formation of zoospores continues until all the cells are used and nothing remain in the thallus. And then these zoospores liberate out when this thalli is reflooded by the tides or during morning tide. So you can see that here is spore, zoospore forming and then all the zoospores are formed. They are quadriflagellated having four flagella and what will happen when these zoospores are mature they will form again the complete alva plant. So here is sexual reproduction. What will happen that sexual reproduction in which uh, two flagella are there in each zoospores or gametes these zoospores by flagellate zoospores will be smaller in size and they will fuse and form quadriflagellated zygote after some time that they, it will swim for a short time and then it withdraw its flagella and then this zygote will divide mitotically and produce new sporophyte alva. Life cycle of alva in which firstly life cycle start from the sporophyte. Sporophyte will be diploid and having 26 number of chromosome. The sporophyte will produce haploid spores and this sporophyte, the whole uh, plant will be turned into haploid zoospores. And these spores will be quadriflagellated because each spore will have four flagella. And these spores will form by means of meiosis. It means the chromosome number reduced to the half one. Here is 26 and in each quadriflagellated spores only 13 number of chromosome will be there and these uh, uh, spores will mature and turn into male gametophyte and female gametophyte you can also use the symbol like this and you can also mark with the symbol positive and negative these will be haploid both gametophyte male and female we are just uh, indicating them but they are morphologically similar and uh, they have applied number of chromosome each having 13 13 chromosome after that what will happen they will produce applied gametes 
and these gametes will be biflagellated and they are also known as zoospore biflagellated zoospore here is the haploid gametes both are haploid when these two haploid zoospore will fuse together in the process is known as syngamy then their flagella will be dissolved and then by fusing they will form zygote it is the process in which two gametes fuse together is known as fertilization then they will form zygote then zygote will undergo the mitosis division in which the number of the cell will increase and then they will form again diploid sporophyte after maturity you can see that these are the uh, uh, these are the ways in which uh, mature sporophyte will be formed and now you can see that sporophyte and gametophyte are similar you cannot identify morphologically that whether these are the sporophyte or these are the gametophyte this type of alternation of generation in which sporophyte will produce the gametophyte and gametophyte will produce the sporophyte and when they are morphologically similar this type of reproduction or known as isomorphic alternation of generation and it occurs in alva here is again diagram of life cycle of alva and what is alternation of generation it means sporophyte alternate the gametophyte and gametophyte alternate the sporophyte here the uses of alva it is edible and it is rich in potassium iron magnesium calcium and iodine silitus can help to make your bones stronger and also reduce the risk of high blood pressure diabetes obesity and gastrointestinal disorders it it also possesses anti inflammatory anti viral antioxidant and anti cancerous activity thank you so much dear students for more videos like share and subscribe my channel